a blessed Sunday to all of you. Today is April 3, 2022. Umpisahan po natin ang ating bagong ser- sermon series sa araw po na ito of first importance. Ito po ay nakabase in the book of uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. At ang pinakamahalaga sa lahat ay pag-usapan natin ang pinakamahalagang bagay tungkol po sa buhay ng ating Panginoong Hiso Kristo. Basahin ko po ang 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 to 4. Now brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved if you hold firmly to the word I preached to you. Otherwise, you will you have believed in vain. For what I received, I pass on to you as of first importance: that Jesus Christ died for your sins according to the Scriptures; that He was buried; that He was raised on the third day according to the Scriptures. The Word of God. Congratulations, po pala kay Brother Martin and Kyla Sibilia. Sila po ay ikinasal kahapon and it's a success wedding ceremony. Congratulations sa kay Martin Sibilia at kay Kyla Francisca Sansing. Uh, why did Jesus die and uh, what did His death accomplish? Bakit po ba si Kristo ay namatay at ano ba ang uh, na-accomplish ng kanyang kamatayan? Alam po ninyo, kahit alam po ninyo, Brother Richard, Brother Drexel, and Brother Robert, kahit alam pa ninyo na si Jesus ay uh, namatay doon sa cross, you, we still may fail to understand the significance of what His death accomplished. Sa kabilang panig, sa kabilang banda, ang inyong misunderstanding sa crucial event na ito, itong kamatayan ni Jesus, it may, it may be due to a wrong perspective. But on the other hand, baka ang dahilan po ito is to an incomplete perspective. Kaya ating pag-aralan, whatever the case, kapag inyong naiintindihan ng tama ang significance ng kamatayan ng ating Panginoong Sokristo, meron po itong dalawang mga mahalagang layunin o purposes. First, it guards you against doctrinal error. Kapag po kayo alam na alam mo kung ano ang kahulugan, ano ang significance ng kamatayan ng Panginoong Sokristo, ito po ay uh, magpapalayo sa inyo sa mga maling aral o doktrina. Kapag na-misunderstand mo ang kamatayan ng ating Panginoong Sokristo, then you also misunderstand the gospel. Secondly, uh, kapag alam mo ang significance ng kamatayan ng ating Panginoong Sokristo, alam mo, it it increases your appreciation, Sister Jolly and Dr. Douglas, for the work of Jesus Christ in your devotion to Him. Yan po sa ating mga kapatiran dyan sa Bakulod East Side Church of Christ, Parana Church of Christ, at sa lahat po ng mga kapatiran sa City Church of Christ, Talisay, and all churches of Christ, Christian churches all over the world. So meron po tayong mga wrong views, Brother Drexel and Brother Neil Sanja. Meron po tayong ano, Brother Francis at si Brother Jumel William. Meron po tayong mga wrong views of the significance of the death of Jesus. Ang una pong view, tinatawag po ng mga authors, mga theologians na the go- governmental view. Ang view po na ito, ang sabi ng view na ito that Jesus died to show us the strong displeasure of God towards sin. Yan po, namatay daw si Jesus upang ipakita sa atin ang kanyang uh, matinding uh, pagkalungkot, displeasure, pagkainis of God towards sin. Well, totoo naman po ito that ang death ni Jesus ay nagpakita ng strong displeasure of God towards sin. But this view fails by teaching that the death of Jesus or the yes the death of Jesus served merely 
as an alternative to your punishment. Sa pag ito po ang ating katuruan no, di, uh, by teaching that his death was similar to or comparable to the death you deserve, nako, it fails to recognize na si Jesus pala ay namatay the exact and complete death uh, that you deserve. So, sa ganitong paraan, ang view na ito na ang kamatayan ng ating Panginoong So Kristo has a technical necessity rather than an actual fulfillment or of the punishment na ang ating kasalanan is deserving. Kaya nga, ito po ay nag-diminish ng significance of the death of Jesus. Ang pangalawang view po na wrong, itong tawag nila na moral influence view. Ano po ito sabi ng mga theologian? Ang turo ng uh, view na ito is that Uh, Jesus died to show his um, to show his uh, incomparable love for sinful people and to inspire you to turn from your sin to God. Yan pong the moral influence influence view. Uh, ngunit totoo naman po ito na ang kamatayan ng ating Panginoong So Kristo reveals the uh, magnificent love ng Diyos towards sinners. Ngunit ang view po na ito, medyo, medyo bigo po siya. Medyo hindi po siya uh, tumama ng, uh, ng maigi by teaching that His death, the death of Jesus was uh, nothing more than a um, demonstration of love. Yung most extravagant display of divine Uh, love, John 3.16, Romans 5.8. Sa totoo lang, uh, Jesus, si, si Jesus po ay hindi po siya namatay uh, merely upang lang ipakita ang kanyang pag-ibig but He died to accomplish something more significant. At dagdag pa rito, hindi po nag-attempt si Jesus merely to motivate you to turn from your sins. After all, And wala naman nothing in this world, no? walang tao sa mundong ito, not even the most supreme act of love, is able to persuade you emotionally to turn from your sin. Kaya nga ang sinabi dyan sa John 3.19. No? Uh, so, so Jesus died to accomplish something more significant and certain. Yan po. Ang pangatlong view ang tinatawag nila na the example view. Ano po itong the example view? Ang sabi ng view na ito is that uh, Jesus Christ died to provide you with an example of true obedience and to inspire you to live in a similar way. Well, totoo naman ito that Jesus intends for anyone na manampalataya sa Kanya for salvation and then to follow Jesus, to follow Him through suffering. Ngunit ang view na ito medyo bigo rin by teaching that the death of Jesus is merely an example of obedience to follow. Well, mababasa po natin to sa 1 Peter 2.1. But namatay po si Jesus to accomplish something more. Something that not only inspires and instructs us to do good, but also enables us to do so for real. At dagdag pa rito, ang view na ito disregards the need for personal repentance and salvation by teaching that anyone may inspire to be like Jesus through the noble effort and good deeds. Kaya nga ito ang tinatawag na example view. Ano pa ang another wrong view of the death of Jesus? Itong tinatawag nila na the accident view. Ano po itong the accident view? Ang sinasabi ng view na ito is that Jesus died as a result of overconfidence about His identity and mission. Well, mayroong uh, ang, ang previous views medyo fail by providing an incomplete perspective. Ito naman, ang view na ito na the accident view, medyo 
ito na po ang pinaka-worst na view. Why? Dahil ang kamatayan ni Jesus was not an unfortunate event na maaari niyang iwasan. Hindi po si Jesus namatay uh, because His claims to be the Messiah somehow uh, parang nagiging mayabang siya. At medyo sumubra siya doon dahil sa kanyang kayabangan. Marami kasing mga gano'n, no? Uh, sobrang self-confident, uh, self-righteous. Uh, hindi niya na nakikita ang sarili niyang pagkakamali, kundi yung pagkakamali ng iba. So, uh, ito po ang tinatawag na uh, medyo mali. Dahil labas na Jesus take on more than He could handle. Mga kapatid, sa halip, itinuturo po ni Jesus bago po pa siya ipinako sa cross that he would die. Hindi po ito aksidenta lang. Matthew 16.21, Matthew 17.22. His death was no surprise. ba? Diba? Dahil Jesus, sinadya niya talagang mamatay. He intended to die. In fact, his death was an eternal and intentional feature in the plan of God. Acts 2.23. At dagdag pa rito, by, the, by claiming to be God and Messiah, Jesus did not claim too much. Sa totoo lang, siya po ay nagsabi ng totoo mga kapatid. Ano pa ang isang view na medyo mali? Itong sinatawag nila the martyr view. Ang sinasabi ng view na ito na Jesus died because He threatened the status quo with His radical ideas yan namatay siya dahil po sa mga kanyang mga medyo paninindigan na para siyang mga makakaliwang grupo sa atin pa so although Jesus did threaten that status quo ang kanyang primary antagonist uh, na Roman government talagang gustong i-execute gusto siyang patayon in this ground that he was a political threat to Rome Ngunit ang malalim na dahilan na, gustong, na gusto ng mga Romans, Roman government na ipatayin si Jesus because He claimed to be the Son of God. At sa kanilang uh, knowing this, so itong martyr view fails to recognize the underlying spiritual significance of the death of Jesus ayon sa John 10.33. And so, dito tayo punta sa tinatawag nating correct view of the significance of Jesus. This, ito po ang correct view. Ang kamatayan po, Brad Rexel and Brad Albert Paknutan ni Sister Joy and Sister Jumaima Paredes and Brad, uh, Sir Romel. Ang tama po na significance of uh, the view of the death of Jesus ay ang kamatayan ni Jesus is a substitution. Ito po ay paghalili. When Jesus died, He did something very significant. Ano po yun? He died to take your place. Yan. He stood where you deserve to stand. He hung where you deserve to hang. Diba? Sa halip na ikaw ang bitayin, siya po ang nabitay. He died the death that you deserve to die. Why? He fully, personally, and directly received on himself the punishment that you rightly deserve to receive for your sins. Yan po ang sinabi ng Biblia sa 2 Corinthians 5.29. Diba? Ayan po ang, ang nangyari. Ang ipangalawa po na correct view of the death of Jesus ay hindi lang substitution but it's also a redemption. Ayan. Ito po ay redemption. When Paul described the death of Jesus in substitutionary terms, he also taught another aspect of the significance of the death of Jesus. Ang tinatawag ay redemption. Ito po ay Galatians 3.13. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having a curse become a curse for us. Yan po. So, redemption means to release from slavery by the payment of the price. Yan. Mayroong mga ransom pa, no? And then, ang pangatlo po na significance, na correct view of the significance of the death of Jesus ay tinatawag natin na propitiation. Ano po itong propitiation? Hindi lang po si Jesus namatay to be your sub- substitute and to redeem you from your enslavement of sin and the consequences of sin. sin. Si Cristo po, Brother Drexel, Sister Vicky at Sister Anamer, He also died to 
appease God's wrath towards sinners. At that's including you. Yan po ang mabasa natin sa 1 John 2.2. He himself is um, the propitiation for our sins. Na? Itong propitiation is an important theological and doctrinal word. Dahil po ang ibig sabihin nito is to satisfy the wrath of another person by means of an offering or a gift. Talimbawa, galit si Sister Vicky, Hebra Drexel. Alam ni Fred Rexel na kapag binigyan niya si Sister Vicky ng pandisal, ito po ay maibsa na. Mapapawi po, mapapawi yung galit niya. So, bigyan ni Fred Rexel si Sister Vicky ng pandisal ang galit niya maglaho. Yan po ang propensation. And then another significant is uh, reconciliation. Ang correct view po, ang kamatayan ni Jesus, it's a reconciliation. Jesus died to restore peace between God and sinners. Ito po ang sinabi ni Pablo, ang kanyang concept na dis- described in the book of uh, 2 Corinthians 5.18. Na ang sabi po niya, all things uh, are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and has given to us the ministry of reconciliation 2 Corinthians 5.18 and ang ibig sabihin ng reconciliation tulad po ng Ukraine at Russia di ba? sometimes masasabi ko na ito pala yung tinatawag na sabi ng aking uh, kaibigan ang mas uh, super power pala ang media kaysa Ukraine at Russia dahil nung sinampal ni Will Smith si Chris Rock Parang biglang naglaho sa media yung giyera, yung digmaan between Ukraine and Russia. So, mas powerful pala ang chismes sa media, sa, lalo na sa Hollywood. So, ito po ang reconciliation to restore peace between two opposing or hostile parties. Ah, so, yan po. So, sana po sa araw na ito, mga kapatid, tandaan po natin na mayroong mga biblical truths about what Jesus accomplished who died on the cross. Tandaan po natin, the death of Jesus was for His enemies. Yan po ang bababasa natin sa Romans 5, 7-8. And then, the death of Jesus portrays a people. Tayo po ay binili ng kamatayan ni Jesus. And the death of Jesus is on our behalf. And the death of Jesus defines love. And the death of Jesus reconciles us to God. So, tandaan natin mga kapatid, you deserve to die, but Jesus died in your place. You were in bondage of sin, but Jesus made you free through His death, by His death. You deserve God's wrath, but Jesus appeased this wrath. Propitiation ang tawag. You were separated from God, but Jesus restored this relationship to po ay reconciliation. At upang pong maintindihan pala natin uh, ng uh, mas uh, uh, malinaw ang kamatayan ng Jesus, we need to partake the communion. The communion signifies the importance, the essentiality of the death of Jesus. Kaya sabi ni Apostle Paul, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you the night Jesus betrayed, He took bread. When he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it. This is my body which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. When you ever eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Lord, thank you so much for the meaning, significance of the death of Jesus to us. May this uh, truth will motivate us to remain faithful to you and to have that hope and peace that whatever will happen to us, whether in life or in death, we are sure that we can go to your kingdom, not because we are good, but because Jesus is good to us through His death on the cross. May this truth sink in in our hearts and it will motivate us to do all the things that God wants us to do to fulfill our role on earth as believers. Bless each one of us in the name of Jesus. Amen.